Hi and welcome to this video review of the Huawei E5885 Mobile Wi-Fi Pro 2 LTE hotspot. The Huawei E5885 is a successor to the Huawei E5770 and comes with an improved LTE modem and a larger battery. Compared to other mobile LTE hotspot, the integrated Ethernet port is one of the most unique features. Before getting into technical details, let's have a closer look what's in the box. First, we have the device itself. This is a black version with fake leather look on the front and in the back. There is a small USB to micro USB cable attached to the hotspot, which is perfect for using the power bank feature of the device. Then there is a wall charger adapter with 5 volts, 2 amperes output. As you can see, I have the German plug type of the adapter. We also have a USB to micro USB cable for charging device and for data connection to the PC. The Huawei E5885 hotspot also comes with a small adapter from micro USB to USB type C, which is perfect if you want to charge USB type C devices with the power bank feature. Last but not least, there is a quick start manual in several languages and a warranty card. The back cover can be removed for installation of the SIM card and an optional micro SD memory card. It is also possible to use a nano SIM card with an adapter to micro SIM, but you have to be very careful when removing the SIM card. The battery is not exchangeable. All ports are hidden under a cover on the side of the device. You can find a micro USB port for charging the device, a full size USB port for power bank usage and an Ethernet port. The Huawei E5885 has a small display on the front that shows important information related to the internet connection and the device status, such as signal strength, battery status and the number of connected Wi-Fi devices. With a tap on the power button, you can have a look at the Wi-Fi password. There is also a WPS connection on the side of the device as well as an NFC antenna on the front for easy Wi-Fi connection with an NFC equipped Android device. Compared to other mobile LTE hotspots, the display is very small. Due to light reflections, it is difficult to see the information on the display. The configuration of the device has to be done via web interface or Huawei HiLink app, which is available for Android and iOS. Both the smartphone app and the browser web interface are easy to use, available in several languages and offer a wide range of configuration options. All in all, the browser web interface has some more configuration options, but the app is sufficient for daily usage. The internal Wi-Fi module supports up to 32 devices at the same time. Both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz frequency bands can be used. The maximum speed was slightly below under 600 megabits on my 2015 Apple MacBook Pro. The range of the Wi-Fi network depends on several factors, but in my test, 10 meters with one wall between the MacBook and the router was no problem. There is no option to completely turn off the Wi-Fi, even when using the Ethernet port. The Wi-Fi extender feature is one of the best features of the Huawei E5885. You can connect the device to an existing Wi-Fi network and use it as an internet access instead of your mobile data connection. This saves a lot of data of the, on your SIM card. The extender feature was easy to use and worked quite well in my test, but the speed was limited to 15 megabits. The Ethernet port on the side of the Huawei E5885 can be used to connect a wired device such as a desktop computer. This worked without problems. There is also the option to use the Ethernet port as a primary internet connection and turn the device into a simple Wi-Fi hotspot. So you don't need to use the mobile data connection when having an Ethernet cable available. Surprisingly, the Ethernet port only supports 100 megabits connection, no gigabit Ethernet. You can only use a third of the maximum LTE modem speed of 300 megabits. The battery of the Huawei Mobile Wi-Fi Pro 2 hotspot has a capacity of 6400 mAh. During my tests, the battery worked for about 20 hours in LTE hotspot mode, which is pretty good compared to other mobile LTE hotspot devices. The integrated power bank feature worked well. Fast charging with an output of 5 volts and 2 amperes is supported by the E5885. I have tested the Huawei E5885 with SIM cards from Deutsche Telekom and Vodafone here in Germany. The signal was quite good but don't expect something extraordinary. There is an option to use 3G only or 4G only connection via the web interface that is quite useful if you live in an area with a bad reception and the hotspot doesn't connect to your favorite network technology. There are no connectors for external 3G or 4G antenna 
which is one of the weak points of the device. Most other mobile hotspots, especially in this price range, do offer an option to connect an external antenna. The Huawei E5885 LTE modem can reach up to 300 megabits in downlink and up to 50 megabits in uplink, which is LTE Advanced Category 6. I have done several speed tests, but due to lots of other users in the LTE network, the fastest speed was around 200 megabits in downlink and 50 megabits in uplink. Compared to other devices like the Netgear Aircard 810 hotspot, the speeds were slightly slower, especially in uplink. But nevertheless, the E5885 showed very good LTE speeds, also in regions with weak signal. The European version of the Huawei E5885 supports all the important frequency bands for Europe, but also supports some bands that are used by Asian and North American providers. After testing the Huawei E5885 Mobile Wi-Fi Pro 2 hotspot for about two weeks, I would recommend the device to all users that need a hotspot with fast LTE connectivity, large battery capacity and most important an Ethernet port. The device worked well and provides a stable and fast internet connection. Positive is a fast and easy to use web interface. The Wi-Fi extender feature is also nice. Weak points are the missing external antenna connector and the very small display on the front of the device. An option to turn off the Wi-Fi connection when using an Ethernet cable would also be a good feature that is missing in the current software version. If you don't need LTE CAT 6 modem speed or the 5 GHz Wi-Fi, you should have a look at the cheaper Huawei E5770. If you want a hotspot with a larger display and an external antenna connector, the Huawei E5787 or the E5785 could be an option for you. This was the review of the Huawei E5885 mobile LTE hotspot. If you have any questions, please use the comment section below. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.